In the last several weeks, Notion has come out with a ton of updates I'm super excited to tell you guys about, including progress bars. So let's just get started. So if you didn't know, Notion has had a ton of updates in the last several weeks, actually in the last week or so, including progress bars, new icons, as well as the peek out or the sneak peek of a page. It also has aligned images, just so many different updates. And today I'm gonna to be talking about two in particular, the new icons and the progress bars. So one of the things I love about progress bars, I'm a big fan of progress bars, and for a long time, you were only able to do it with a formula inside of Notion, and now you can actually visually see it if you have set it up either as a number or as a formula. So I'm gonna be talking a little bit today about some practical ways to use this. If you haven't figured out how to change it, basically it rolled out earlier this week, you can go inside of either a number or formula and change it to either a progress bar or progress circle. So it's really helpful for a lot of people that are wanting to know, you know, exactly visually what it looks like. You can actually use this in formula view, which actually means that you can take different uh, properties that you have and add them up as a percentage, which I'll talk a little bit about. So today I wanna to talk a little bit more practically about how, what you can use them for, because that was kind of my thought was, okay, I haven't used progress bars too much in the past because they were just so complicated to set up. Now that they're available to everyone, how do I make them useful to me and my brain? So I wanted to share with you a couple of examples that I have now added to my ADHD and Notion uh, template, my ADHD life tracker, which is super helpful because again, it's a tracker. So I like to track the things I'm doing. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of examples. And also there's a video below that I watched that was super helpful. It's a very basic video on how to use them. So if you wanna check that out, um, maybe start there, come back to this. Um, other than that, um, my name is Jenna. I am a marketing expert and I do a lot of stuff with ADHD and Notion. Make sure to subscribe below and join our Facebook groups and let's get into the video. Okay, so here is an updated look at my ADHD Life Tracker template, which you can buy on the link below. Um, you can see I actually updated the icons to actually match the colors of my pillars, which I was so excited about with the icons. We'll get into that a little bit later. But I wanted to show you guys an example of something that I've changed. So one of the things that I have on the daily checklist is these little check boxes, right? And so one of the things that's really cool that I'm super excited about is I have added that to this percentage bar. So now at the bottom, you'll actually see a percentage. Watch what happens if I just click here. You'll see that it shows a percentage of the total number of check boxes that I've added to this formula. It's so amazing now that you can see the progress of the things that you're doing every single day. I have wanted something like this for a really long time and I didn't really wanna do it on um, just like a weird sort of like template, uh, formula. So having it actually be part of Notion natively is extremely exciting. Let me walk in with you to show you a little bit how this works. So this is set up as actually a, uh, a formula, which I'm not the biggest formula person. I don't know formulas super well, so I've had to look up some ways to do this, but just doing adding up all of these different check boxes, I had to put a formula in here. And then what you'll see is if you edit the formula, I've added each individual item um, that is on this list. So if you want to edit this list, you will have to first edit the name of the item and then go into the formula and just change the name. So wherever it says it here, you're just going to have the exact same name as what's in the uh, name of the items. You can also, if you want to add more, you can change the number here. So right now there's 12 items. You can add 13 if you add an additional one. So that's really how I do it. You can also choose if you wanna have a progress bar or ring. Um, this is really the difference right now is there's three different options. But if you just want to make a simple um, progress bar, um, let's just show you guys really quick. I'm just gonna add it right here. So if you're in a, let's just make an inline database. Let's just call it test. What you're going to do is you're going to have a title and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over here where it says number and now this is where you can see it so there's a progress bar i would recommend doing percent because usually you're going to want to use a progress percentage bar so you can even put percent so what you'll do here is you'll type in 50 if that's what you're doing let's see if it works add a property yep and you just got to make sure you add the bar so now it's 50% done, whatever it is. That is really 
pretty easy. That's how you do it. Obviously, if you don't want to actually do it yourself, that's where formulas come in. And formulas now can be viewed as a percentage. So I wanted to give you guys another example. Um, so I have in what's called the brain, um, you know, I track a lot of my reading in Goodreads. So Goodreads, literally, if you type in the page number, it'll tell you the percentage done that you are. You can also do it this way. You could type in the percentage that you're done. You could also do it where you have um, the number of pages and the number of pages that you're on and make a formula. And so if you just change the number, it'll automatically change the percentage as well. That is another option. I don't usually do that. I just change the percentage if I look on Goodreads. So those are a couple of ways that you can use this new percentage thing. I am going to try to find more ways to use it on my database and on the ADHD life tracker because to me, that's why I love this template is it's a tracker and having progress is super important for that. So I have updated some of this uh, account and you will see that I've actually started making changes to a lot of the icons based off of the uh, category that they're in. So right now with all the food stuff, I've changed that so that it's orange. Cause if you saw my pillar video last week, you'll see all of my health and fitness stuff is orange. So I've really tried to make some big updates to the life tracker and I'm going to be doing more this week. I'm actually gonna be doing a lot more tutorials on each section. Cause I've actually gotten feedback that people don't understand why I've set things up a certain way. So I want to make sure that that's clear. So, um, Again, if you've already downloaded this template, you can re-download if you'd like with these updates. This is updated. I also now have a bundle version where you get this plus the marketing database. So I also wanted to show you guys how I use it when it comes to the business projects database, which I have now recently added to the daily tracker. So the reason that I do it this way is, for example, if I go into here now, you will see that I have linked it via... Um, like I linked it over to the to-do list, which is now part of obviously this template. So if I add um, another tasks, let's say, let's call it um, contact Gary. I don't know, it's a to-do, right? It's going to change now the total number of tasks, the complete number of tasks to 33% done, right? So if I wanted to go into now this and I've changed the status to done, if I go back, you will see that that is now 66% done. So however many tasks you have and, and their percentages, so now you've got one that's in progress and two that are done, it'll show you that progress bar on the business project. So I think this is a really cool way to use the progress bar. Um, it's very, very easy. You just add to do's and then you can just, so now if you go into the to-do list, which is part of here, you will see that if you go over, they're linking over to the business project called Coaching Clients. If I change, um, you can sort them however you want. So if I sorted them all by Coaching Clients, you'll see that there's two done, one in progress. If I change this to done, and I scroll back over to the business projects, you'll see that it's now at 100%. So this is, again, they're all interlinked with each other. So it's very, very easy for you to add different tasks um, and then change the status of them and it'll automatically change the status over in your business projects. Because again, the projects is based off of um, just the entire project and then you have different tasks within that project. Let me know if that makes sense. This is all set up within the template, so it should be working correctly. Let me know if you guys have any questions on that. I did want to mention also how the icons work. So if I was to go into something and go here, you'll see before they had emojis. Now there are icons. Unfortunately, they're still limited to the number, but if I were to go in, let me just think of an example. If I was to type in like task, well, see, like some of these don't work to do, you know, so let's do check. That one works better. If you click on it, you can actually change the color which is so cool, especially for me as someone who likes to utilize the, the, the pillar system where I have different colors. So yellow for me is business projects. So now I can literally have all of these be yellow, which is so, so not only aesthetically pleasing, but also just practical for me as being like this specific page is part of my business projects. So again, I just wanted to share that. I have made some updates to the ADHD Life Tracker template and more will be coming soon. So make sure to check that out, um, link below. And I hope to see you guys next week. I have a ton more videos planned. I just wanted to come out with this video because there have been so many Notion updates and I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing behind the scenes.